Hello everybody, this is Ben from the Blue Monday podcast. I have just witnessed Charlton 6, Ipswich 1 in um, London at the Valley. Normally on the podcast we say, oh, pre-season friendlies, uh, that doesn't matter, you know, it's not that important. But I thought I'd give a bit of a reaction after this one because it was pretty spectacular. Um, When the team came out, It looked all right, but in goal, it was a back four. Spence, Chambers, uh, Smith and Knudsen. So, a bit of a kind of ponderous back four, but still experienced. Um, Midfield was Downs and Skews in the centre. Someone will have to tell me if that's the first time Downs has played next to Skews, because there might be a correlation between his performance today and that. And it was Ward on the right and Rowe on the left with Garner and Sears up front. So it all looked okay. Started all right. Um, Garner got a sniff straight away. And then 10 minutes in, uh, Chambers gives away a free kick on the corner of the box. And it gets curled in and Chelton take the lead. Um, If you listen to our pod on Monday, we've actually recorded it already. We spoke about the need for Bart to really step up this season. We were crap at defending set pieces last season. And Berra is gone now. I know Smith's good in the air. But he really needs to get away from his goal line. There's quite a lot of examples of goals going in. Him camped on his goal line. And a close range header just going in. We need more command from our player of the year. Um, Now I have to remember all the goals. Because it was just a a bloody avalanche after this. Um, The second one was laughable um the ball breaks to Danny Rowe on the edge of his own box he tries to play I don't know what he was doing he tries to play a pass across the edge of his box um to one of the center halves and just goes straight to a Charlton player he squares it they go 2-0 up it's one of these ones where you know he messed up move on um 3-0 this time Chambers makes a really bad clearance um the cross goes in headed in uh 3-0 Another one before half time. Um, Chambers gets skinned by Clark um, squared, and it's four nil at half time. So you're thinking, okay, this can't get any worse. Um, it was kind of just the the ability to collapse that was really worrying, and the fact that you expect someone to kind of stand up. Probably Chambers, Skews, experienced players, but nah, not really. Um, so half time three substitutions I offer comes on for Spence Spence did alright um, I thought he was unlucky to get the hook Rowe who was obviously going to get subbed after that big um, mistake he went off and Dazelle came on and who else came on there was a third stuff Webster came on for Chambers so the captain was removed after being pretty directly responsible for three out of the four goals directly and directly his mistakes leading to the goals or just directly skinned or whatever um, so the second half starts and it's all fairly positive, bit more energy, Dazelle got on the ball a couple of times and then um, Downs gives it away, they counter-attack and they score from their from their first um, attack, a nice little curler in the top corner. It reminded me a lot of a game against Wimbledon at the end of one of the Joe Royal seasons where every time they counter-attack they just scored, they relaxed and they just put it in. So at this point people are getting pretty tetchy um we actually pull a goal back by this point um it's kind of four two three one garner sears left um ward right dazel behind two deep central midfielders downs and skews and then the back four um so dazel scores ward puts a cross in nudson's got forward well heads it back gets a nice assist and dazel Puts it in, and then, unfortunately, um, Charlton get the sixth. Um, Downs gives a foul away, and the free kick gets flipped up into the top corner. So every time there was a kind of little um, shaft of light, Charlton scored again. Um, There's a few theories for how this could um, play out. One of them is it's a pre-season friendly and it doesn't matter so who cares and everything's going to be fine hopefully that will be the case um the other is it was a complete freak um they finished way better than they normally would we 
defended way worse than we normally would. All our individual mistakes got punished and it won't happen again. Um, the third option is that it's very, very worrying um, and could be some kind of hint to what's going to happen during the actual regular season. Um, the most worrying things were, I think Bart needs to now start commanding the box on set plays. He's he's brilliant with, you know, all the saves he, he makes, the shots stop him. But, you know, look back at last season, there's a lot of goals from set plays and maybe he could just come and take on a bit more of that responsibility. Um, Chambers, brilliant, 46 games, played every minute last season. He was, was just utterly dreadful, utterly, utterly dreadful, skinned mistakes, you know, back more like when he was playing right back and just really struggling. Um, midfield, well, I've heard all about Downs being great. It wasn't, it was pretty anonymous today. Like I said, I just don't know if it's possible to play centre midfield in a two with skews without him just, um, covering his own arse and making the other guy look stupid. Um, I don't really see many people have been able to play with skews. So, um, Garner looked very, very frustrated up front. He actually got a bit of a niggle at the end and went off for the last 10 minutes. Hopefully that's not anything too bad. And all the optimism from the other friendlies has now kind of evaporated. Um, there were some, I don't know how sarcastic the chants were, but there were some few chants from the Ipswich fans that had travelled a few anti mix sentiments and a, um, few kind of howls of derision at the team after the 6-1 you know, defeat to the team of division lower than you. So, I don't know. Obviously, if you start the Birmingham game, you score after five minutes and the crowd gets up for it, whether this all gets forgotten or not. But um, is this a horrible sign of um, things to come? I know Hughes wasn't there. Um, I know Addy Amy is not there. But, yeah, um if it plays out, example number three, um, might be a long season. Hopefully it's more like example number one or number two. Anyway, that's my immediate reaction, having not had too much time to to process it. Um, let me know what you think uh, in the comments. And yeah, tune into the um, <laughs> more optimistic podcast that we've already recorded on Monday. Ciao. I can't believe I said that.